Hello televiewers of Hi TV. Uh, good evening. Good evening. You are welcome to this special live broadcast of uh, activities out here at the campus of the Catholic University Institute of the Diocese of Boya. Activities started since Monday. Today we are going to witness uh, a live broadcast of the Holy Mass to be said by the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya. We are at the campus and uh, we have been witnessing a series of activities uh, that started this morning with a rehearsal of what we are going to be saying tomorrow uh, under the guidance and directives of the president of uh, this prestigious university institute uh, or in the person of uh, Reverend Father George Keze. Father, uh, once more greetings and kudos to the wonderful job you've been doing out here. Yes, thank you, Leonard. Yeah, today we are going to witness live the, the, the solemn mass to be said by His Lordship Emmanuel Bushu. But before now, activities have been going on here. What, what has been happening at the Institute so far? Yes, uh, we we having a series of activities since Sunday. Uh, most of those activities are what we call the flagship tradition activities of CUIB. And today we have what we call the EOC activity, which ends up with the Holy Mass. Uh, the first commencement mass for our first seniors, which we presided, as you have earlier said, by His Lordship Bishop Emmanuel Bushu. Now, uh, before this day, we had uh, what we understood was a uh, business plan challenge. Uh, why uh, did you have to put the students to this challenge? And then, uh, what makes this year's commencement unique? It's unique because of the special, unique flagship traditions, as, as you rightly said. Today we have the business plan challenge. At the end of this day, uh, after the mass, we we'll, we'll all have a torchlight procession to the to the uh, commencement grounds. And uh, why the torchlight is because one of the founding concepts of our founder, Bishop Manuel, is that in life you should light the candle and not curse the darkness. So there will be a candlelight procession to celebrate that philosophy of university. As entrepreneurs, we are telling our seniors, our alumni now, very soon alumni, that when they go out, they should be able to be light of the world. They should light the candle in the environment and not curse the darkness. And at that ceremony we have today, after that we have what we call the business challenge finals. Now you notice there were 200 students with business ideas and each had 50, 59 seconds to pitch their idea. This evening, the first three will have a million francs each. Okay, now uh, the first uh, three students are going to have a million francs each. But uh, before we, we, we get even to that, uh, this is an, a university that uh, prides itself of uh, producing saints and scholars. Where, where is the place of saints and scholars in the whole of this business uh, challenge idea? Yes, uh, what we're having now, the mass, is part of the sainthood. The, the, the scholars is the, is, is, the, is the creativity and the talent of the students. So that's why this mass is very important, the commencement mass. It sets the pace for our ceremony. We cannot begin a commencement ceremony without giving thanks to God, who has blessed us with the ideas, with the inspiration that we have, with the innovation that we have, with the creativity that comes from our students. Our students are very creative, they are very innovative. We remind them that they are what they are thanks to God. So this Mass is in honor of the great things that God does in our lives and inspires us. So that is the same part of it. The scholarly part of it is the, the hard work which they put in, the creativity they put in. Like there are some great groups that have come up with wonderful business ideas that I see a good number of winning, winning, winning the three million francs. Yeah, what are some of the things uh, that you are looking out for in this business uh, challenge? Yeah, the, 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 an idea that a, 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 a sponsor can look at and say, I need to sponsor this company. I need to start a company based on these ideas. This is what we're looking for. Yes, so that if you get a good idea, there, there, there's one student, I know there's one student there who wants to, to transform Tabala African into, into, into video games. So instead of using the shooting of killing killing people as they do it, the, the games in Europe and America are all to kill, but this one is about using African heritage to develop video games. It's amazing. There are so many amazing ideas. You need to watch them. Now, uh, aside uh, the activities that we have been witnessing here, yesterday there was the launching of a book at this campus. Uh, what was this book all about, uh, Father? Uh, there were two books that were launched. Uh, one by the, the history of the story of CUIB from the beginning. 
but I also launched my one of my books called The Hard Readings from my original spiritual diary. Okay. Now, uh, the history of this uh, wonderful university institute, uh, that which is which is uh, say we we say the entrepreneurial university started all at uh, in 2007, and today we are we are we are witnessing a historic uh, event. Now, tell me. 2007, 2014, are you proud of what you've been able to achieve so far? I think I'm proud of all what the, the work and students have been able to achieve. It's not about me. It's about, first of all, God who has, been, who has blessed the project. God has blessed this project. And you see the success is thanks to God. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that God can, can, can inspire people. But if people don't cooperate, nothing happens. So we thank all those who have been part of this great success story, from the bishop to the president, to the provost, to the faculty, to the staff and the students. I give them kudos. Well, what is the place of entertainment in all of this? Yeah, celebration. Uh, it's commitment is about celebration. celebration. Commencement is not just about the, the kind of part of it. That's why we call it commencement. It's just about commencing a new life. So we're celebrating a new life for students moving from the, from the transition to the alumni stage. So it's about celebration. That's why we brought those artists to celebrate with the, the whole entire family. Thank you. Thank you. We have Oh yeah, we were talking earlier on with the president of uh, the Catholic University Institute of the Diocese of Boya, Reverend Father George Nkeze Jingwa. He was telling us what has been going on during this week. That is activities that are that have been earmarked and then effectively carried out in honor of the students that are going to be graduating out here this this uh, this year. We are receiving another very, very high profile uh, personality and administrator of this Catholic University Institute. We believe that he is, uh, you are the author of the book that was launched yesterday. Yes, uh, I'm Dr. Adam George, uh, Director of uh, Exams and Records and Publication. Um, I was the author, or I'm the author of the book titled The Unquenched Candlelight. Uh, the unquenched candle light. That is the story of the Catholic University Institute yes. of Boya, yeah. the yeah. Entrepreneurial uh, University. Yeah, what is this book uh, telling the readers? Uh, this is giving the brief history of the university since its inception. See, it starts from the conception of the university by the uh, proprietor Bishop Busho to the takeoff of the university and it ends up with today when we are doing the first commencement, the first degree holders to be to be commenced from this university today, seven years of work. And uh, it is intended to give to the public the stages that the institution has gone, its good and bad uh, roads that it has gone through. It started so well along the line there were problems but it came back to the rear and it has succeeded and it is on its positive is on its way to a positive note now a uh, doctor you said uh, it took off and then there were challenges every uh, endeavor in life every human destiny has uh, challenges what are some of the challenges uh, that you we that somebody who picks up this book is going to to discover uh, some of the main challenge is the division first among the top administrators you see uh, when an institution starts like this one as we started uh, you have people of diverse views in the administration. You have some who will be very interested in uh, monetary aspect, some will be interested in power, and all these things were manifested and they were responsible for the first breakdown of the first administration. But the proprietor not too long discovered the errors that were made and he reorganized the staff and things are going well. Uh, as somebody who has seen what how it started or the challenges were how the challenges were overcome what is the appraisal as an observer do you make of this uh, university institute uh, I'm an insider I would not just say that I'm an observer I'm an insider I was I was I served in the council okay. yes and uh, also served in the advisory board and I'm a member of staff so in fact I think we are moving positively after we have surmounted the challenges that we face, things they, it, it's delivering its uh, its goods. The university is on the is on track.
one small living plant, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. On our screens, we are watching uh, the end of uh, the the, the mass. This holy mass. We hope that uh, very shortly we are going to have an interview with His Lordship Emmanuel uh, Bushu. Uh, these are all part of activities uh, marking uh, this year's commencement of ceremony that is going to take place out here at the Cali University Institute of uh, the Diocese of Boya where students are going to be graduating tomorrow morning with with um, degrees bachelor's degrees equally they are going to be graduating with uh, HND uh, diplomas and 
earlier on uh, this morning we had other activities we had uh, rehearsals out here at the campus of this uh, institution where the students uh, try to rehearse what is going to happen tomorrow to ensure that everything goes on hitch free to master the steps uh, they are going to take as they process onto the ceremonial ground. They were equally uh, made to understand uh, their sitting positions and so far so good. The mass was set this evening to make sure that uh, the commencement begins with uh, God because uh, we must understand that the Cali University Institute of the Dust of Boya is a Christian institution and if uh, students are going to be graduating out of this uh, prestigious university, they are expected to be saintly very professional in all they are going to be doing so it was just normal that uh, this holy mass uh, take place out here and celebrated by the chief shepherd his lordship uh, Emmanuel uh, Balanjo Bushu. This isn't just a visit here for the inaugural graduation. This is part of a long-term relationship, and I'm going to take that back that message. And hopefully some Cameroonians will come to the United States, and we can send some of our faculty and students here. We are standing uh, straight away with a strategic advisor who is equally all the way from the United States of America. Surely you have been advising this, uh, this, uh, this University Institute of the Diocese of Boya. Uh, are they taking to your advice? Are you satisfied with what you are seeing so far? Yes, I'm very satisfied. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the most important things is to um, try to work with them and understanding how to raise funds, not only in Cameroon, but in other parts of the world. One of the issues is that it's not been done in Cameroon in the same way that it's done in the United States or in Europe. That is philanthropic fundraising. So we've had to create that system, we've had to train everybody, and we also had to create the action. On a personal note, how does it feel your advice is coming to concrete uh, uh, realization? You know, it's something that I've been trying to do in Cameroon for the last 20 years, but there's never been a private institution that actually um, is able to set up the system. So most of the institutions are public institutions and they don't really have the, the, the system set up in a way that we could actually embed this kind of culture into the operation. So when Father George and Kesey, the president and pro-chancellor, and the chancellor and, and, and um, the proprietor, uh, Bishop Bushu came to the States, they literally came there and looked for me because um, Dr. Dr. Um, Enongeni, told them that, that I have been the, the um, vice president of institutional advancement for three major universities in the United States. And one of the things I had been doing was setting up these systems, waiting for the day I could do it in Cameroon. So I'm extremely, extremely happy that a university was created where we actually could do this. Uh, looking at what is happening around this uh, beautiful campus, uh, what is uh, the feeling that is uh, running uh, through your mind uh, this evening? I'm so elated because I was there when the baby was conceived seven years ago. I'm so grateful to God that I'm alive today to see it all. It is a beautiful, beautiful evening and it is a story, an epoch making and I'm so happy that I'm part of it. Everything is just perfect. It's just perfection in reality. What are some of the, uh, the, the, the key moments in this university that uh, has uh, marked you? The key moment is when the Minister of Higher Education gave us a decision that we can operate and then when he gave us another, another decision that we can open a university. And um, there were challenges but those challenges made us to be very strong. It started very timidly but now it has bloomed to fulfillment. So we are very happy that the children, after all these four years, they are going away not just as people who own certificates. They are going away as spiritual giants and uh, our society is plagued with so many problems. They are going to make a difference in our society. And I'm sure the corruption is that so, is so, which is so high is going to be reduced because these children here, they have had the best education that any human being can, may wish to have. Now, we are talking professional education and uh, uh, every student 
that is graduating from this uh, institution is, is expected to go out there and become a job creator and not a job seeker. How professional, how real is professionalism in this uh, university? It is so real because 70% of their training is uh, professional. And they have been having a lot of trade fairs to show their skills. And so far, you'll be so happy to see that after four years, they can create, they can dream, they can create and they can, they can, they can really arrive to what they want to do. They are very, very well educated, well trained, and they are going to make it. The bishop is a real gift to this diocese. He has a vision. And that vision does not remain only in a vision. It makes sure that it, it, it matures to reality. And it's always there. He's a faithful man, very faithful, a man of God. He believes in success, he never believes in failure. And that is why he has really built the faith in us, some of us who are board members, from day one to this moment, that it will work. That when you put your mind to do something, and you are doing that thing to serve the society, God is there to sell you through. So he's a real leader, he's a real shepherd. And a very humble one for that one, for that matter. And he is very humble and he is very practical. And he is very forgiving. A board member uh, who is a lady and, and, uh, and uh, contributing to this uh, great success uh, story that is happening out here at the Catholic University Institute of the Diocese of Boya, uh, an example to be copied by other women. What is, your, what is your strength, what is your inspiration and an advice for other women who are out there uh, probably watching and listening to you now? The truth is that we are in the world to serve and we have to live the world better than how we met it. We are volunteers. Apparently today is the day of volunteerism. We, you have to share and everybody has a talent. And those talents, we have to share them. We should not say that we are too busy, we cannot do things. We can do things to ensure that we leave the world a better place than how, how we met it. That's what I can tell my friends, that it is good to serve than to be served. At this juncture, we are going to be receiving uh, the, the, the proprietor, the chancellor of the Cali University Institute of the Diocese of Boya, in the person of his lordship, uh, Emmanuel Balanjo Bushu. He, 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 he celebrated the mass we just watched uh, a moment ago. He's uh, on our screen. He's making his way up here to meet us, uh, to tell us uh, what, has, uh, what he has in stock, what this great a university, a university that has come to make a difference in, in Cameroon, Africa, and the world at large. He is uh, right here with us. He's going to uh, be telling us, uh, just coming back to what he told the students that are going to be graduating out here tomorrow. We are going to be honored if you can come back to what you told them as they prepare to leave uh, this great institution tomorrow. Yeah, we, we did say uh, many things, but principally that uh, they have learned a lot for the four years they have been here. The university has done a lot for them, uh, in theoretically and practically. Uh, which means that when you learn a lot, uh, it's not for yourself really. When you study, when you read as they do in university, the idea is that you are a better servant for the community. Therefore, as they go out, we are trying to uh, say what the scriptures were telling us today. Uh, then there must be people who are serving by their way of life, the way they talk, the way they do things, they must see a difference in their lives. Now, uh, your Lordship, many people are, are looking up to this uh, great uh, university to bring a big uh, solution to the, the problems that are plaguing not only Africa, not only Cameroon, but Africa at large. Uh, how confident are you that uh, these students are going to make a difference out there? Well, uh, we, we had this idea and we were thinking only of God guiding us and I think that from the experience we have had if you were here yesterday to listen to the two books that were launched and then you would have understood that there have been uh, problems that sometimes looked insurmountable we couldn't even get over them but that we have continued for the uh, past four years and we are entering the fifth year already uh, for me it is uh, God's work and we have uh, started on God we depend on him and we will always be on him uh, because with God nothing is above you with God, uh, nothing is impossible, and with God, everything is very, very possible. Uh, Your Lordship, um, what is the, 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 the big picture in front of this great uh, university that, is, uh, that, is, that prides itself to be the entrepreneurial uh, university? Uh, the big thing is that we, 
we try to learn every day and the idea is that the learning will be renewed so that the system renews itself. In that way, it will always be on. But if we do not renew ourselves, that means uh, no new thing surprises us, then we'll be in difficulty. Uh, how does it feel knowing that tomorrow we are leaving an institution that has contributed uh, so much to our becoming uh, professionals? Um, I think it's a, a great pleasure, it's a privilege, because it's an interesting thing to see the first batch leaving. So today was really an excellent day, it's a nice beginning, and we hope that tomorrow is going to be a better one. This is the first batch, and we believe that the batch that are going to come is going to really be another extraordinary program that we are going to have. I really want to thank the, the bishop and all those who have participated in making this event to be possible, and the creation of this university. The Cali University Institute of the Diocese of Boya is sending out students with a uh, bachelor's degrees with students with uh, HNT and, and that uh, a lot is going to happen yet tomorrow. Today we had uh, the rehearsals of what was, is going to, to take place tomorrow. We equally uh, had the commencement um, mass that was said by the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya. We are equally witnessing a touch uh, live recessional that is going on, still presided by the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya, His Lordship uh, Emmanuel Balanjo Bushu.